hello everyone so welcome to a new video in this video we'll discuss about the file structure and the coding structure uh, for the blocks and uh, the plugins and we'll also learn how to extend or how can we prepare ourselves for writing our own code uh, first you can see this is our build folder and this folder is responsible for our all kinds of codes uh, for our, our production mode and node modules includes all kinds of uh, dependencies file i mean package and source folder is responsible all source codes so let us try to open this package.json and you can see this is our package.json actually our main folder our main file is sourcing for a index.js inside the build folder and if you expand this build folder you can see this is our index.js this is our main uh, file for this production mode there is some common script one is the build format a uh, lens uh, css lint js uh, lint s lint and basically s yes, lint is just going to use to format our css and javascript or react also and script start so when we are uh, uh, running this comment npm start then it will start wp script that means it will start our development server right and build is responsible for our production when we run the npm run build then it will run the wp script build then we'll get a production i mean this compressed version but mini or minified version of our project right and you can see this is we have only a day one dependencies and that is our wp script or wordpress script actually wordpress script is a npm package and it is a combination of all kinds of dependencies related to our gutenberg development like babel babel cli and uh, other uh, like webpack and so other if you search for the npm i mean the wordpress packages in the google and you can see there are 58 dependencies and 32 dependents uh, like if we go to this dependencies you can see babel babel uh, babel core webpack and so other options so if you don't like this uh, wordpress script you have to uh, create your own custom uh, environment development environment and then you have to uh, install all of these dependencies separately i think um, that is uh, really uh, complicated rather we can use wordpress script and it is uh, really very easy to use and it helps to develop uh, the gutenberg block easily i think we have understood the matter so how wp script works actually when you run the npm start then the wp script search for a folder and source folder src folder it doesn't work without this src folder so you must have a src folder and inside this src folder it will search for a index.js so you have to keep a index.js inside a source folder right right now we have this src folder and index.js inside the source folder and if you want to try to understand the what is inside this index.js to register a block we have to use a function register block type it is coming from the wordpress block package so first you have to import this one and this uh, function is responsible for restarting any kinds of block it has two parameter one is uh, for the name of the block and this is an object that accept all kinds of settings related to the block if we go to this its structure and you can see this first parameter is the name of this block this name of the blocks is coming from our metadata this metadata is responsible uh, for all kinds of blocks information and we are keeping all of this inside a block.json file and you can see this is the block.json file and it includes all kinds of blocks information first it has a schema you can use api version it can be two or three and latest one is r3 and the name of this block so name of this blocks is 
first one is for the our namespace and slash and second is the name of this blog is first blog you can give a static partial like 0.1.2 gives you the title of this blog is like title then we can use a categories and we can also parse icon description and so other options we'll discuss about this one first go back to the index.js you can see we're just taking the name of this uh, block and inside this address object we are only taking this name so if you go to here you can see this is our object meta or meta data and the name only this one so inside the setting we can accept different types of setting it can be our block uh, title like title title it can be description description I have an icon like something 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 we can have a category sorry we can have uh, attributes attributes all right I want to just want to show you all kinds of settings like this we can have uh, keywords we can have supports and most styles most important part uh, I can be parent and so on and there are most important for us is our edit so edit actually edit is a function so keep in mind and we have a self this is also uh, a function so we have different types of settings but here we only want to give few settings like edit this is our edit function so edit.js uh, accept a function and you can see we are importing edit.js for edit.js file and save function is uh, importing from save.js and all others the meta informations are kept inside the block session and you can see this is the name version title categories icon description and so others so i think you understood the register block type you can source in the google register block type and you will get all kinds of information about this one and you can see there is the most two parts one is the block name and another is an object that accept all kinds of settings related to this block right so let us try to explore edit.js and save.js so inside this edit.js keep in mind edit.js is only responsible for editor content i mean edit inside uh, editor content will be rendered uh, using this edit function so this is very simple function and it is returning some things like i want to write uh, return only a div editor part and our save.js i mean this save function is responsible for our front end content so let us try to only print a div called save part of the black so there is no relation between edit.js and save.js i mean uh, this both content are totally different and now if we start our server npm start and you can see our server is started now go to our editor we have created a base okay you can see this is our editor part right now it is a simple text save and at the front end, you can see this is our save part of the block. This is coming from our save function, and this is coming from our editor, uh, I mean edit function. So both are totally different. Now try to understand the style structure. This style.source is responsible for front end and back end, but editor users is only responsible for our editor part. I mean it is only responsible for editor only. 
and keep in mind that we are importing our standard source inside the index.js file but editor.js is importing inside our editor.js so in short if we want to uh, explain everything in short we can say for our wv script we need a source folder src folder and inside this src folder we have uh, we must need to have a styled index.js file right and inside this index.js file we have all kinds of information about the block so to register a block we have to call register block type and it is importing from the wordpress block this function accept two parameters one is the name of this block and another is an object about the all kinds of settings about the block right so we are taking all of this information from our block.js json and inside this block.json we can keep all kinds of information about the block and index.js inside this index.js we have two functions one is edit function and another is save function edit function is responsible for rendering the editor content and save function is responsible for uh, rendering our frontend content right and we have two style uh, file one is style.source file and another is editor.source file style.source file is responsible for both editor and frontend but editor.js is only responsible for our editor portion so this is our file structure so i think you understood this all of this matter and in the next video we'll discuss about how can we uh, write the custom code for our custom functionality thank you